My apologies, we're a little late to the party. It's only when I was uh, in the middle of, of finishing the last touches that I thought, ah, oh, I should have made a video of this. Okay, now I am making some croutons in the foodie. I did some last week. I've since eaten them. I like the croutons in soup and in Caesar salads. So, all we've got to do, nice and simple, I've got myself a loaf of bread, which is a day or two old now. And uh, I've, I've, I've uh, cut it up into little crouton sized chunks, obviously. And I've got the crust and the other. And I have popped them into the, pa into the pan, into the tray. I've given them liberal sort of uh, coating, dribbles, whatever you want to call it, of olive oil. Um, quite a nice one. I know you're not supposed to use olive oil in the foodie, but for this, it's necessary. So it's Puglian extra virgin olive oil. I've also put a few turns, about uh, 20 of each, of sea salt and uh, multicolored pepper, you know, the black, red, and white pepper. And uh, some herbs de Provence. Herbs, herbs, herb, however you want to say it. So that's all ready to go in. So I'm going to pop that in. And I'm going to aim for, oh, hold on. That is in the wash. I better take that out. But I'm going to switch that on and I'm going to put that on roast. 180 degrees, 25 minutes. I'm going to check it part way through just to see how it's going. Give it a mix up and shake up too. Okay, we're at 15 minutes. At 180 degrees and these are done now. So I'm going to switch off. I do that those are looking amazing they're looking a bit paler and a bit more yellow on on the screen so I don't know how they're going to look come out got a good mix there so I'm going to whip these out into the light and put them to cool off nice shape you can you can hear they quite nice and crisp look at that look at that so let's take one Nice. I'll take one of the most cooked ones. It's a lovely golden brown there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice and cooked. Mm. Nice and crisp throughout. That's really good. It's really good. Take one of the lighter ones. Mm. That's good. I haven't gone rock solid, so I'm not breaking my teeth. So 15 minutes in the feeding match for a whole batch of croutons to last me a week. Job done. Okay, so I'm going for my first meal of 2021, 2021, a Caesar salad. There's my remain lettuces. You can bang on about remain as much as you like, but we left the EU completely with a deal at 11 o'clock last night. So, exit let lettuces. That'll upset them. So, there's my remaining left. So, if I do a bit of that, then that's gonna quarter my leaves. I've gone but um, potentially down there. So I'm just gonna do a little chopped cross. This is good, so I'm gonna get some of the crunchy inners and some of the Less crunchy hours. So that's my lettuce into the bowl. I've got leftover Christmas turkey. Do, 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 do. No mould on it. Cool. Keep that slice because that's my sandwich slice. So I'm going to break up a little chunk. She's gone far, far away. I'm trying to get you and the bowl in it. Why do you want me? Oh, all right, sorry. Get close. Here we go. So here we go. So we're chopping it all up. Chopping it all up. Now I eat this a lot and it helps me to lose weight while tasting fantastic. Probably, obviously, chicken, not turkey. So I'll always roast up a load of chicken. Turkey chicken. has more protein in it. <laughs> yeah, it's drier meat as well. Um, it's different flavour, but it's, it's really quite similar. So there, that's all mixed up. Look at that. That's... Kind of like a nice mix. That's a, that's a heavy, 
heavy duty mix on the old meat. Okay, now we've got to go for the parmesan. On my little uh, mandolin. I don't know how to play the mandolin. This is a food mandolin. My parmesan has gone very hard. There you go. Look at that, see? There you go. Go around that side again. I'll put that. Do you like my new, my new jumper? My Christmas jumper? That's my, my Eco Macaroni from Weird Fish. It's very expensive. Very nice. Apparently. There, look at those lovely slithers of that. Now, this is where I'm cheating. I haven't made my own Caesar dressing with anchovies and everything. I bought, this is the little one. It's actually really nice. I normally have a Morrison's one. So, I'm going to put loads of that in. There you go, look at that, look at all that. But what does that have to do with the Ninja Feeding Max, I hear you say? Well, do you remember a couple of days ago, and it's yesterday actually, I made croissants. Now look at these, look at these. Doing croutons. Look at that, yeah, croutons, not croissants. I don't mean croissants, you could do. You can make croissants, there you go, when you're here in the Feeding Max. So, here we go. So these are, these are what are called stranglers croutons. Golden brown texture like sun. Crunch them in now. Mmm, they're so crisp and crunchy. Look at that. Now we're just going to mix it all up with a spoon or two. Like this. Eloise can show you that my kitchen's a massive mess and she can embarrass me and my 1,401 subscribers that they had half an hour ago. It was very good, thank you for subscribing. A mixture of fishermen, kayakers, Spitfire and Triumph enthusiasts, foodie max cookie people, model railway train spot people. Divers, foot pervert, travellers, foot pervert, yeah, foot pervert, mustn't forget the foot pervert, can't think of his name, I was wishing my Happy New Year, so if you want to buy my neck a Converse, I'd buy some new ones, actually I could do some new slippers, so there you go, that is my Christmas turkey Caesar salad, I'm going to have a little taste that, I haven't got to share it with you, because you're a veggie, and it's got parmesan, which isn't vegetarian, and it's also got Caesar salad sauce. In the sauce. Mm. And you know the turkey, that's quite a big part of it. Mm -hmm. And caterpillars on the lettuce. So there's my turkey Caesar salad with croutons in. But I'm hating now. They've been in there and soaking. And we've been a good 5 10 minutes. So in the sauce, is it still crunchy? Sound it to me.